Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. We exalt you. Thank you for all that you have done, for the great testimonies we have had today. Lord, for all that we have shared of your goodness and of your mercy, your greatness, O oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, together, let's thank God again. Just thank God. Just give him the glory, give him the praise. Thank the Lord again and again as we start this new month that this will be a month of great encounters for every one of us. In the name of Jesus, because we possess salvation. Our temples are the... Our body is the temple of the living God. And so God has chosen to be with us. He has chosen to be with us. And we have chosen also to be with him. And so, Lord, we thank you today. We are so grateful. What a privileged people we are. Take all the glory and praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so today, as we go to this table... Bible says in the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took the bread and broke it and gave to his disciples and said, eat this. This is my body which is broken for you. And I want you to know because his body was broken for you, nothing in your life shall be broken this month. Your path will shine brighter and brighter. Your expectation will come to pass. Your faith will be quickened to stand. He said, I have prepared a table before you. Everything that God has prepared before you, you will sit and enjoy. I declare the heavens are opened for the grace of God to walk in a perfect way that you will step where the feet of God Almighty himself has stepped before you. You will walk in the alignment of God's favor. In the course of this month, long desired things will come to pass in your life. And so we declare this month, the month of the arm of the Lord. The month where nothing shall be impossible. The month where expectations shall be met. A month of supernatural occurrences. A month where God will rejoice over us with singing. He takes delight in the prosperity of his servants. That as we serve him, God will prosper you. So keep serving. Keep serving. Don't serve because of... Serve with understanding. Serve with understanding. It was love that determined the service of Jesus. As we partake of this communion, I pray that the love of God will be shared in your heart by the Holy Spirit who is our helper to love God and for us to love one another that our prayer greed will not fail that as we pray for one another God will answer us quickly and the Bible said it took the cup and gave thanks I said, this is my blood, which is shed for the forgiveness of the sins of many. He said, as often as you drink this, you drink it to show forth his next coming. 
And so in his blood, there is forgiveness of sins. The Bible says, Therefore now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. He says, For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. So today as you partake of this, a new law begins to work in your life. If it's already working, it becomes reinforced in your life. It is called the spirit of life. And so everything in you live. Whatever you touch, live. Every organ, live. The spirit of life in your mind, in your brain, in your spirit, in your body. The spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. Go in this revelation. Go in this blessing. Enjoy the best of God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let's partake together.